Right mate, it's Slymade here and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 4. Now you're probably wondering, well, why are you in Kaipo? I thought last episode you ended off like near the Antlion's Den. And that is true. But the reason why we're back in Kaipo is because some absolute idiot, some clown, some buffoon, some absolute nincompoop <laughs> completely forgot to save the game. Now I'm not saying any names, I'm just saying the person who has a, an empty tin of sorbet on his desk completely forgot that what's it called? I mean, let's reorder these people in a minute. Swap you to there, because you're kind of a healer. But, um, yeah, last episode, because it was kind of a, a quick rushed ending. I kind of forgot to, um, well, <laughs> save. And like I said, sometimes I come back to these areas, you know, to like do the best area in that. And, um, well, you know what time it is? New area, best area entries. First up, the skeleton. Weak to fire and holy as with all undead, but this guy can actually cast thunder. There's also the spirit, which is kind of undead I guess. It's weak to hole it and can cast fire. The blood bones is basically just an upgraded skeleton but instead of casting thunder it can cast drain. There's also the cockatrice which can cast petrify so it's much like the hell dive off from before. There's also the gargoyle which nothing special just kind of weak to hole it. Then finally there's the bomb and the grey bomb which can cast self destruct which is kind of well very dangerous. <laughs> Also just going to cover this one now, but there's also a thing called the Gatlinger in an upcoming area, but there's literally only one bestiary entry worth mentioning there, so yeah, it's just kind of a better sword out. I completely like the last time I saved was before the boss, so I just had to like quick speed run the Antlion, and yeah, the Antlion is like still a really easy boss. Now we're kind of confronted with an ice wall here, and Rosa wants Rydia to use fire, and I mean... Cecil kind of burnt down her entire town, so you can understand why Rydia hates fire, and... Rose is going to try her hardest to try and, what's it called? Cult to Rydia to actually at least try it, so that more people don't have their town blown up, and... Rydia is actually going to have an attempt, so we're... Three cheers for Rydia. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, um, but it is actually really convenient that Radio has actually learned fire because this area is actually kind of um, crawling with the undead. Um, surprised none of them have kind of shown up yet. Oh wait, here we go. And none of those are undead. That's two birds and a demon. But yeah, there is kind of um, demons, undead, um, also we got Rosa here, I don't know if the kitty Rosa are all properly, but Rosa does have a bow and arrow, and that's actually good against flying enemies, it does like extra damage against airborne, airborne foes, yeah. Yeah, kind of doing pretty low damage here, and that's Kind of because, well, it's back attack, and we're kind of using our mages to attack, while the the front guys are doing less because, well, the attack gets like half when they're in the back row, and they are technically right now in the back row. And that's dropped our health all the way down to one point. Well, not one point, four point, but still pretty low. But Rydia is kind of a healer. And we're just going to use the potions anyway. I don't care, I'm just going to do it anyway because I think it's funnier that way. And and it actually saves PP, which is... PP, what is this Popa? Uh, MP, magic points. Um, and yeah, we've got more gargoyles, that's fantastic really. Let's actually explain Rosa while we're here now. Rosa's actually a white mage, 
so she has all like the healing spells, the, the like the, the defense spells, um, resurrection, and just general like the support unit. But Rosa also has um, two other unique abilities. She's got one called Prey, which kind of gives you MP back over time, as well as a bit of health. But it's like every like turn or so. But there's also, as well, that she's got, she's also got A, which just kind of, well, it increases the damage and accuracy at the cost of it just being, like, slightly slower. Let's set these birds on fire, that's kind of funny. And that did absolutely nothing. It's probably going to do absolutely nothing as well, but... Oh, I thought Edward was going to get his like, first actual KO there, but it's, it's still Edward we're talking about. Edward's not exactly the greatest of attackers. Actually, what level is Rosary even at? Speaking of Rosary, we actually got new equipment for her, the Holy Arrow. Which is actually going to be fantastic in this area, and we haven't even seen any undead yet. And we've just encountered a, a monk of the next upcoming area that we're ready to go into, so that's kind of neat. And as you can see, this guy is actually pretty strong. He's taken out enemies in single hits before, and let's see how he does now. A little underwhelming, to be honest, but. So that's better. That's kind of more what we're expecting. But he is kind of getting shredded apart now. Now I am actually not controlling him if you notice there, but he is about to get jumped by Good Creek. <laughs> um, about to get jumped by this bomb. And this is actually a, a boss by the way. This is actually. I can actually stun that somewhere. Cast slow on it and then hit it with that. Because, like I said, this is actually a boss. This actually. And if we're not careful, this could actually just like completely one shot us, so. I have Cure all the way down there. I'm just, I'm just try and heal up as much as you can because the attack that we're about to get hit with is... Wait, can I actually hit this with stop? I'm going to see if we can hit this with stop. Also, oh, why is guard spelt good? Edward has run away. Gonna keep hitting it with a chocobo. Oh, you missed. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> now here we go. It's, it is getting ready to erupt. So that's the thing with this boss: is it will actually try and erupt if we're not fast enough. Increasing his defense. Like I said, we do have to be really careful with this boss. You can probably tell I haven't like properly researched these bosses. <laughs> well, let's see if we can actually even tank this damage now. Oh, we actually can. But now it actually splits into three enemies, and this is kind of what we wanted it to do. And the reason why we wanted it to do this is because now that we've got that, we can. Use kick and take out 
a good chunk of these at once, actually. Because it now becomes just a hit as many as you can kind of thing. And bombs are typically weak to ice. Typically, anyway. I, I don't really know what went on there, but... But we did take out a chunk of them there. So it, it's less to worry about, actually. And that, that one's just gonna blow up and kill Cecil. He actually took it, he actually just kind of tanked the whole thing. And Rose has actually learned uh, the revive ability, I believe. You have my gratitude, Yang is my name, and I'm the High Monk of the Boo. Now, yes, as you could kind of see in gameplay there, um, Yang is a monk, and monks in Thai things are is that they kind of don't really use weapons. The only weapons that Yang actually uses are in what's called claws, but you can straight up take the claws off of Yang and he still does a lot of damage. It's kind of a, a really interesting thing because Yang also has really high HP for the kind of character that he is, and on top of that, um, he actually has a few abilities. He can use um, he can use what they called GERD, which I think is a, a funny mistranslation. It's actually guard, which just increases his defense. I think for a turn or so. Um, he can also use brace, or is it? Um, or is that guard? Or is it like the DS version of that move? Um, he can use focus, which actually just boosts his next attack's damage output, and it actually it's actually stackable as well. So. Yeah, that is actually the, uh, the revive. But the thing is, as well, is he also gets kick as well. So you can kind of, like, combo together, um, like, focus and kick, and just completely melt through. Now, here we go, we, we can demonstrate the, the undead being weak to fire using What's it called? I'm using really his newly learned fighter spell. Hopefully, it actually does damage. That actually did a fair amount, actually. And Rosa is actually using holy arrows, and like I explained last time with the zombies, um, undead enemies actually do take extra damage from holy weapons. Ironic that the skeleton dies by arrow. And Rosa actually learned Protect, which was one of the, the spells that was on about before. We actually kind of flew through this place pretty fast. And I think there is actually one enemy that just did not show up. Not being the best area like at the start of the video and that, so we don't really need to worry about that. But that was uh, that was Mal Hobbs. I actually didn't even mention that, but um, that has some of my favourite music in the entire game. And we actually have some new enemies here as well. I completely forget about these guys, but they exist in such a small location in the game that they're kind of remarkable. I'll probably have a best Jerry entry for this area anyway, but we have already seen the Dome of Eyes, so they're not really anything to worry about. Oh, that that thing just like straight up killed Yang and I was boasting about like how great Yang really is and stuff like that. These things are not playing around. Uh, they can kill Edward though, I don't really care. I'm just gonna take out every single one of my characters. After I went after I took out a boss and everything, it is really just going to decide to kill all the characters of it. Edward, return. Edward, return! Like he's a Pokemon or something. If Edward was a Pokemon, he'd probably have lower base stats than Sunkern anyway. Uh, I think with everything that's happened, we may as well just like pitch a tent in the middle of the woods. 
You know, a completely safe place after we just got ambushed, but... <laughs> that should heal us. Unlike in Final Fantasy 1 where... Oh, it doesn't! Well, I'm so used to, like, in the DS version where once your character's, like, completely down, and you can just, like, kind of... pitch a tent and just, like, not dead anymore. Oh, yeah, I like, completely fully healed him. Just around this corner over here. We've got more. It's the same guys again. Oh boy, this is going to be fun, isn't it? And it's an ambush encounter, so that means you have to watch as the goblins do two damage to each one of our characters. And the rats do like 98. We really just took out our healer before we could even heal. Fantastic. Amazing. I'm so used to these guys in the DS version being absolutely nothing enemies. To the point where. Oh, Edward actually got a kill then. That was kind of. Very cool, Edward. Probably never gonna hear me say that ever again. <laughs> And Edward's already dead. And that's fantastic. I feel like we're slightly under level, to be honest. Which is impressive because we just like completely like wiped through that boss before, and that boss not only even did me trouble on the DS version. But then again the DS version is like the, the harder version of this game, so I don't know, that's just all kind of odd. Just behind this mountain, and I'm gonna save about. Hate that that's slightly not symmetrical. Near me, controller clicking really loud there. But let's check out who um, Fabul went. I wonder if the name was originally supposed to be like Fable or something? This area has, has like a really cool theme to it because. I don't know why, just like whenever I listen to this, the music in this area, I just kind of have like this image of all these like Shaolin monks on a hill, like throwing punches and kicks to the timing of the music. He's already got fire claw. Uh, I think we should just pick up the extra claws while we're here. Get all of them for Cecil, it seems. Funny how no one else has like equipment here but Yang and Cecil. We literally just healed outside. Yeah, I know it was like using a tent, but I don't know, that's fair enough, isn't it? These guys are just gonna say, Welcome home, Mr. Yang. The way he was saying that, like, is as if it was a toad in Mario. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm like. Weirdly today, I'm just like speaking really quiet, and I don't know what's up with the finger. It's probably for the best that I'm not doing a toad impression, because one, I'm not very good at it. And, and last time I did a toad impression, it was like, "Ow, oh, hello, Mario!" <laughs> it's like one of the worst things I've ever been. Yeah? Also, the, this part's just like really kind of amusing because it is like a, a bait and switch. And in the in the DS version, you like see the dancers spin around, just like transform into monk, and they just do flying kicks all over the bar. Very goofy moment, to be honest. Oh, there's an item in here. So Bacchus' cider. I think in the DS version, it's called it Bacchus's wine. There's a tent. Apparently that was from the king's room, so... I don't know if we'd get arrested for doing that. 
first thing we do whenever we, we come to this castle that we're supposed to be like protecting and that, warning of um, gold as is like imp impending encroach or whatever, is immediately just run in and loot the king's bedroom. So you got this guy, uh, oh, would you like to change our name or whatever? I don't know what that voice was that I did there. Is there anything in it? Nah. Um, I don't know what that voice was that I did, but. Oh yeah, this is um, Yang's wife. I think she's actually called like Sheila or something. I, I think it's only really said in the in the DS version of something. But I, th I think that is just kind of like funny little trivia that. Right, let's let's just go talk to the king while we're here. Yang at last. I return to you and return to there. So he was prepared for battle. Baron is opposed to attack and steal like Christmas. How do you know this? These two citizens are from Baron. That would sound really suspicious when I feel like, oh yeah, these guys are, are from the thing, yeah? The sound of cost of defense is more protected immediately. See, even the king's like thinking, hold on a minute. Didn't you just say these guys are from Baron and Baron's trying to attack us? And he recognises Edward. Don't know why he'd want to recognise Edward, but at least that kind of like validates what's it called. Also, it's funny that he asked Edward first if he wants to help defend the castle whenever we all know what Edward is like. So, Yang, Cecil, and kind of kind of not Edward are gonna try and stop the incoming siege oh Edward actually killed someone that's that's kind of impressive to be honest what's not impressive is the fact that Edward killed someone who Yang didn't <laughs> Oh, the Red Wings are attacking, so we're... Are we going to attack an enemy that's above us? Retreat into the castle. I mean, we saw what happened to the last castle, so why are we... Retreating into the castle, rather than just, like, getting everyone out of the castle? And take the crystal with us? Stop them from taking the crystal themselves, we've got a little goblin man here. Why is Baron hiring little goblin men to do all the fighting? Yeah, it seems like Baron has got monsters in his forces and that's... That's kind of concerning. Also, they just kind of like disintegrated those guys, so... Um... <laughs> That's also quite concerning. More enemies. More guys actually this time. I think if we actually kill the guy at the back, the other two get confused and just start punching each other. So... That's gonna happen. They are actually stabbing Edward, so... Edward's gonna nope out like he would. Yeah, see, now they're actually starting to beat each other to death, and that guy just kind of stabbed himself, so that's... Um, I don't know, I think that guy might have needed help, but he kind of um, destroyed himself before we could have helped him, so... This is the last stand to defend the crystal. Door's been unlocked. Why are you doing that? He's one of them. He got changed fast. He's got one of the Gargoyle team guys here. 
we, we beat a few of them before, so that's clearly not not really an issue. Is it more of these guys? We're just gonna go about it the same way. I like how this is supposed to be like a mini boss, but it's like a very nothing. Aside from the fact that they just kind of like demolished Edward, he's kind of very much nothing. Is there any more? Oh, they, they, they killed Edward, just, just let them take Edward! has been stored to give attack power. Oh, I, I wanted to kick that guy and just like instantly vaporize him with a flying kick. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... Not good that we've been chasing to the crystal room, which is exactly where they wanted us to. Oh wait, it is Kane. So these two are fighting. Why do this? Save your breath. I like how Kane just kind of like comically flies in like a superhero. <laughs> now as you can kind of guess from the... Is it like the whole talking dialogue thingy? This is kind of, well, a scripted battle so I didn't really want to bother trying to stab Kane and that because well it would have been kind of pointless it would have been over in like four turns anyway so Rose has shown up and Kane's now hesitating which is an interesting development and that development hasn't went unnoticed because here's the guy himself golf ball <laughs> in Golbas So here's our introduction to the big bad guy. Now, there is actually a, a really neat piece of trivia, but um, Golbez's name actually comes from a kind of a, a kind of fly. Call like the the Golu Bay or something. It's like from Romania or something. But the reason why I bring this up is, um, oh, he's, he's just kind of stole Rosa. Um, the reason why I bring this up is because Culex in Mario RPG is also named after a kind of fly, specifically a genus of mosquito. And I mean, that's just kind of a, like a, a fun thing to mention. I like how, like, Ridia is like, the one who ends up saving everyone there. It's like, Galvez just looked, oh look, a kid, and it's like, ignores her. And then she ends up, like, coming in clutch. <laughs> so, we kind of lost that crystal. I've got some hand issues in this chain during the attack. Secret passageway. Fire silk, beam shield, and e box. So there's that shield that we're actually looking for. Now it is actually for a usual episode, which I like to do at around 22 minutes. It's now actually like 28 minutes into this recording, so I'm actually gonna. I actually can't end this episode of it. I was gonna go outside and save, but it seems like I can't do that right now, so 
we're forced to continue on the story, so this is going to be like an, a longer episode. Um, and I think, in a way, it, it kind of makes sense because the last time. Tyrant here to get some rest. Um, last time, it was only what, like 17 minutes? So this is like, I don't know, this like counterbalances it out. We're kind of forced to go to the inn. It seems like we've been ordered by the king to go to the inn and we're not going to be able to figure to progress without at least taking a nap at the inn. Need an airship, but the Baron is the only king that has them. Then we will sneak and borrow Baron and borrow one. Reinforces the Red Wings, so its naval power is relatively weak. We might be able to slip via in via water. Then we need a boat. I'll ask the king for ship tomorrow morning. Thank you, Yan. I'm stupid bad at reading. <laughs> well, I'm also like reading that loud. It's one of the things that they always train you to do in schools, and then you just com completely forget how to do it whenever you don't do it for a while. And we've actually just got a free sword off the king, which is pretty cool, actually. We kind of like proved ourselves to the king, and the king gave us a cool sword called the Deathbringer. <laughs> Which is a lot more evil than you'd expect a sword to sound for a good guy, but... Wait, why are we going the wrong way? Well, that, that was pretty nice of him to do that, so yeah, we'll take it! And with that said, um, I'm actually gonna... Save here. And if you like this video, it's kind of all over the place, a bit on the longer side, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!